YouTube, Gibson Guy here. Check this out. This is Operation Deadbolt Zombies. Everything you need to know. Modern Warfare 3 Zombies is going to be incredible. I'm actually really excited. I'm an old school zombies round based player from the old Black Ops days. Um, and I mean, I'm 33. I've been there when these games were originally made. And I have to say, uh, although it's not round based, um, I actually really like what they're going to be doing with this. I trust Treyarch. They're an amazing studio. This is their baby. This is Zombies. And I actually really like what they're doing here as a gamer who loves Call of Duty. Been playing Call of Duty. I think I think this is going to be great. Give it a shot. Okay. Let's check, check this out. Just look. Okay. Calm down. The big thing here. Look at this. There's equipment. Uh, zombies field upgrades, acquisition schematics, axe, tiers, rewards. Okay, there's a million. There's not a million. There's a tons of things here we need to look at. Uh, explore an open world, search for valuable acquisitions and schematics. The word ax acquisitions just means items, usable items. They're one-time use. That's the word they use for that. Schematics are things that you're going to use to craft items. So as we read on, just keep those in mind, okay? Uh, complete contracts to earn essence, collect acquisitions or items. And clear missions to discover what's really happening. So this is there's actually going to be a story along with this as well. You'll need to learn when the situation on the ground becomes an advantageous as well as untenable. Immerse yourself and work with other players to complete the more difficult mission objectives and extract before you're overwhelmed. So uh, I actually am really excited because the PvP aspect of this Ha it, it, it's combining the best parts of DMZ. Let me go back and zombies uh, Outbreak from Cold War. I personally Massive fan of round based. I was also a massive fan of outbreak and what they did with that So I am a fan of DMZ as well. Although I play mostly Warzone. I love what they're doing with this and um, You know this that's what the menu lobby looks like as we continue to scroll through here um, when you're writing up for the mission, this is a very familiar screen, similar to DMZ. You pick uh, an operator. It has the items and things that are associated with that operator, um, at, whether it's a you know larger ruck sack, as uh, they are calling it here. And um, so that's a familiar screen there. Um, here's the menu and what that looks like when you're putting together your loadout, um, your... Uh, Items, acquisitions, as they're calling it, your field upgrade, your lethal tactical, your um, primary and secondary, um, what kind of, uh, you know, if you've got uh, armor or, you know, selfie there, uh, all of those things are going to be on this screen. Again, a lot of this is very similar to DMZ insured slots because it's an extraction based type of mode in that regard. You're going to lose these items, the contraband items here. Um, so essentially what I just said, I mean, it's all pretty much right here. Um, you're welcome to read that, uh, as you please zombies field upgrades. These are essentially, uh, you know, aether shroud, right? For example, in cold war zombies, that was my favorite. Um, when you, when you sort of, um, upgraded them as you sort of uh, progress through cold war and you unlocked a lot of the ether materials and things you can upgrade and level these up and um they became more effective as a result ether shroud teleported you while keeping you invincible invisible for a period of eight seconds stuff like that very useful um uh, field upgrades in modern warfare zombies are completely different from the equipment available to multiplayer operators. There are six field upgrades, five of which are unlocked as you progress through your military player ranks. Why can't I read? Jesus. Energy mine, medium recharge, uh, spawn an explosive, dealing massive damage to enemies who set it off. Frenzied guard, slow recharge, repair armor to full and force all enemies in the area to target you for 10 seconds. Enemy kills, repair armor during this time. That's pretty sweet, actually. Healing aura, uh, slow recharge, heal all prayers immediately and in last stand. That's useful though. Frost blast has a medium recharge. Damage enemies with the initial blast and slow those that enter the area of effect. Aether shroud, uh, that's a medium recharge. Become invisible to zombies. That was that was my favorite one in Cold War uh, zombies right there. 
Tesla Storm, slow recharge on that one. For 10 seconds, lightning connects to other players, stunning and damaging normal enemies. Uh, I really like this uh, a lot um, when they, you know, again, I'm a fan of Ether Shroud. Okay, leave me alone. Uh, adding to your attacks, here's more about the acquisitions, the items, and schematics, with their, which are basically the things that you use to craft uh, items. So the craft the acquisitions. They're, they're, they work together hand in hand. Once you return from a few successful missions, once you extract, you're able to place acquisitions items into your rucksack for use during subsequent outings you can also start to craft your own acquisitions at the schematic crafting location in the lobby between drops man that screenshot just really makes me want to go nuts on just shooting them all in the head and then just destroying that mangler just shooting that thing right there you know it's like a wannabe mega man i got mega man back here um man okay that stuff gets me excited. Like, I just want to go ham on, on that entire zombie lobby right there. Acquisitions. These are single-use items that can give you an advantage on the battlefield. Acquisitions you find and exfil within your rucksack can be added to your acquisition stash within the rucksack menu. Schematics. These are highly sought-after plans that permanently allow you to craft acquisitions that you can add to your rucksack. Schematics have a cooldown period after which they can be brought into the exclusion zone. The following types, that's a really, okay, so yeah, you're editing your rucksack there. There's your acquisition stash, schematic crafting right there. Uh, the following types of acquisitions can be found and used or crafted if the schematics are located and all have a rarity value associated with them denoting how difficult they are to find and the level of improvements they bring to the weapon or item they affect. Right here. The Ethereum. So these are the things that you use, the Ethereum like material that I mentioned earlier. Uh, in Cold War Zombies, you would level up the effectiveness of the perks, the effectiveness of um, the field upgrades. So, for example, when you just start playing, let's say you start playing Cold War today, Zombies today, the Ether Shroud, if you use it, it keeps you invisible for five seconds. But the more you level it up, the more effective it can be for you. So when using it, not only will it increase the time you're invisible to zombies from 5 to like 8 or, or 10 or something like that, it'll actually warp you like 10 feet in the direction you're facing to give you a head start on getting away so you can work on healing and kind of re, you know, getting yourself back, uh, you know, back to where you need to be. Reload, whatever it is, heal, armor up. So... These are, these are essentially what those are for. The Dark Ether element is used in conjunction with crafting schematics to bolster your weaponry. Uh, as I said, upgrade your pack-a-punch uh, weapon. Oh, so I just said that. Yeah, there you go. Perca-Colas, okay? Obviously, these are the perks that you go, you buy, you drink it, you get it. Everybody knows Juggernog, Stamina Up. You got to have Speed Cola, Quick Revive. Like, you got to have these guys, you know? Uh, the vest, gloves, boots, and gear perk system is not available in zombies. That's a good thing to note. Um, zombies is more traditional in that sense when it comes to perks. Because um, I know Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer has a sort of, you know, put this vest, put these gloves, and they give you a certain perk rather than just choosing the perk. So um, let's talk about some of these perks here. Deadshot Daiquiri. ADS moves to an enemy critical location removes scope sway um very useful death perception obscured enemies chests resources and item drops are more easily spotted elemental pop every bullet you fire has a small chance to apply a random ammo mod effect which we'll talk about down below there's some information down below juggernaut increases your health obviously phd flopper diving to prone triggers an explosion that's kind of cool the explosion increases the higher you fall dang Immunity from fall damage while diving. That's awesome. <laughs> Immunity from area of effect damage from weapons you are using. That's going to be really, really cool to use. Quick revive, speed call, a stamina up. We already know what those do. Tombstone. You can essentially, uh, let me see. You create a tombstone stash at that location containing your backpack inventory in the next game. Uh, oh, that's kind of cool, actually. So you're not, because I believe, was it tombstone where you can revive yourself? In Cold War Zombies, in this sense, it's a little different. On death, you create a tombstone stash at that location containing your backpack inventory 
in the next game. So it's you're coming back, but and but you can go get that stuff back. Uh, so that's a little. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. Let me know what you, if I'm wrong on that. But I believe Tombstone in the last game was uh, you revive yourself. But again, uh, there's a difference in game modes from round based to uh, extraction based mode here. Ammo mods, uh, similar to um, Cold War Zombies. Really, really cool stuff here. Love, I love that. I think Shatter Blast is my favorite. Uh, brain Rot, always useful, right? Um, and then, obviously, the Wonder Weapons. Um, you got you to gotta have your Wonder Weapons. We've got the Ray Gun, the Scorcher, the Wonder Waff DG2 over here. I mean, they're trying to be secretive, but if you play Zombies, you know what they are. Um, locate the necessary and devilishly difficult to find schematics and you're able to craft uh, So you're able to craft these after you find the schematics for them the wonder weapons available at game launch are currently redacted I bet they are redacted Missions overview. So this is where we're getting into the material the ma the gaming material of the session here where what are you doing when you load into zombies? You're not you can mindlessly run around and just shoot zombies if you'd like I guess um, but this is essentially the substance of the game mode and what you're doing. Begin to acclimate to the horrors of the Urzikstan exclusion zone and commence a multi-layered storyline that focuses on a variety of tiered missions in three acts. Not all missions are immediately accessible and the mission you wish to complete, which may have one or more, um, more tasks is highlighted mission completion rewards, including access acquisitions, items, items whatever stuff are also visible prior to infill so you can see what you're gonna what the rewards you're gonna get for the mission you're about to click on basically uh complete tasks within a mission and receive unlocked missions and rewards complete missions within a tier and receive unlocked missions and rewards so more stuff uh complete all the tiers and finish an act and receive more unlock so you're just essentially complete stuff get more stuff uh, once you complete all three acts, which is like everything, receive a blank, it's redacted, and continue to uncover the mysteries plaguing the exclusion zone prior the storyline continuation, maybe they meant to say prior to the storyline continuation at season one. So there's stuff to do prior to the season one uh, starting, so that's awesome. Mission parameters, the essence of zombies, uh, really cool screenshot there. Uh, you have freedom and flexibility to explore the exclusion zone, so you can just go out throughout the map and doing what you want. Allows you to complete a wide variety of activities, uh, as well as tasks and blah, blah, blah. Aside from the specific mission tasks you're undertaking, each zombie's infill enables you to explore. Uh, you can investigate low, medium, and high threat zones. Uh, there's just a pop-up that tells you like when you're entering a certain um, POI, a point of interest, You'll say threat zone, you know, um, you know, threat level low, medium, or high. And obviously low is minimal zombies, minimal monsters, and stuff like that. High would obviously be probably some, like, high-level boss type stuff, um, like the Abomination or the Manglers and uh, those kinds of things. Um, so this can be done with a purpose, or you can simply remain in the relative safety of a low threat zone as you learn how to deal with a variety of enemy threats. Uh, yeah, fi finding their weak spots, things, that, that type of thing. Uh, weapon leveling is an excellent plan within the outer edge of the map. Uh, complete contracts. This, you know, as we sing in like DMZ and Warzone, it's a similar thing. You get money in this in this sort of regard. It's essence, I believe. You're leveling your you're leveling up your essence, getting more essence. Because I don't think in this mode uh, you buy things with money. You buy things with essence. So. Uh, just using those contracts as a way to get more essence and acquisitions, or again, items. Uh, upgrade to progress. Spend essence at machines across the map. As we just, as it's funny. It's like I said that. Uh, extract acquisitions. There you go. See, same kind of thing. Like I was just saying. That's insane. Look at that stuff, man. That gets me excited. I want to jump in and just start shooting things. Uh, within a deployment, your tech map displays a variety of interesting game features. So it's good. It's just talking about on your map, you're going to find buy stations, um, you know, the soda machines for the perk, uh, for the perks to buy, pack a punch. Uh, the wall buys are going to be on the map. Mystery boxes are going to be on the map. So, yeah, I mean, that's essentially, wow, like this has been kind of a bit of a ramble and rant, but also like 
because I'm excited. This is really something that I've been looking forward to. I just play, we've been playing Outbreak, uh, you know, for fun, just to kind of revisit some of those like concepts, some of those ideas of how a round based zombies game turned into uh open map, you know, with an out with an outbreak mode and what that means for zombies and how fun it really genuinely was finding the Easter eggs. Obviously there's going to be Easter eggs. There's going to be a lot of really cool things to find that are not going to be listed here. So I'm excited. I really do want to get my hands on this. This is probably going to be a really good way to level up a lot of guns, camo grind. Um, personally, I'm a lot more excited for this than I am multiplayer. And I'm an OG COD player from the original Modern Warfare 4 days, the original Black Ops days. But, you know, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Are you guys excited for this? Do you think this is going to flop? Do you think multiplayer is going to actually be good this time? Or do you think it's all just stupid and everyone's just going to go back and play Warzone again? So let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you like this video, like the video, click it. Let me know. I'm a small content creator. Subscribe with notifications on. Uh, I'm going to be making more zombies content for you guys. Uh, much love. Have a good rest of your day.